Hi, it's me again. Um, yeah, I've had a realization over the last few days and um, it's given me some new impulses that I'd like to try out. And so I thought it might be time to document again. Um, basically what I've realized is that I've kind of tried the raw food. Basically I've been into trying raw food for the last four years or so and I've come from two different angles. I've come from the healing angle or I've come from the raw gourmet angle. Um, firstly raw gourmet is very tasty and yeah it makes the whole transition phase a lot easier and things but the problem with it is is that all the nuts make me feel really kind of heavy and bunged up and you know I'm eating like nut cakes and nut nut butters and everything made with nuts like really high nut and um, I just felt so heavy on it like you know and yeah it just didn't feel good so the other option that I tried then is always um, the healing option so then I was always like detoxing green juices green smoothies basically only that like you know um salads um yeah you know because of my blood sugars as well with the diabetes I was always kind of you know I would eat fruit and I would have fruit frenzies occasionally but um more so the greens for the healing the detox coming from the angle of you need to detox and stuff and neither of them worked. Raw gourmet because it just made me feel crap. And the detox, um, it always would work for like, you know, four weeks, six weeks or something. I'd be really doing well. And then I'd crash. I'd crash. I was just, I had no carbs. I was just, I had no energy. Um, you know, and I've kind of got into running now and I like running, you know, I really enjoy it and I can't run when I'm bloody on this detox diet, like, you know, I've got no energy, I'm just like, you know, I'm lucky if I can do a couple of kilometres and I'm just like shattered and I had a phase at the beginning of this year where I was trying to do some marathon training and I got up to like, you know, 20, 25 kilometres runs and it just wiped me out. I was just, you know, you can't do that on just green juice and lemon water and, you know, salads. I just couldn't do it. So then I would go back to like, you know, my old favourites, crisps, salt and vinegar crisps. <laughs> That's what I crash on. Or bread. Like, you know, basically I'm looking for carbs. So the last few days I've been... Um, you know, on YouTube and stuff, and I found some people, Jury and Rider and Freely the Banana Girl or something, they're a couple anyway. Basically, they're kind of promoting the idea of high carbs. So loads and loads of fruit, loads and loads of energy, then you can do your sport and feel good. And, you know, obviously as a diabetic, the first thing you do is think like, huh, not for me, like, you know. But after I've done a bit more research now, I'm finding that there are diabetics that are actually getting good results with this. Maybe not healing their diabetes and maybe it doesn't go away. But maybe I've got to kind of drop that a bit as well. I mean, you know, acceptance is also kind of maybe part of it. Like, you know, I don't know. But I like the idea of having the energy. I like the idea of being able to run further, faster. Um, you know, just being all full of energy and not all kind of tired and maybe clean on the detox, but tired and just not having the energy for life, you know. And so, I thought I'd give this whole high carb, low fat, raw thing a go. Basically, it means, or actually what they're, they're promoting now, which even better is even better maybe for transitioning, is this um, raw till four. So until four o'clock in the afternoon, you're just like high, high carbs, bananas, mangoes, any fruit you can get your hand of, hands on and as much of it as possible. 
and then at four or as from four you can have like a rice meal or a potato meal or something like this but vegan but that's I'm vegan anyway so that's no odds um yeah and I woke up this morning like Germany played football last night they played against Brazil so um of course I live in Germany so there was a lot of celebrating I managed to eat I think two big bags of crisps through the game and woke up this morning with a blood sugar of I did inject for it obviously like you know but um woke up this morning with a blood sugar of 572 it's now about 2 30 in the afternoon and I'm still fighting to get my blood sugar down uh I took a test about 10 minutes ago it was 300 so you know I'm really toxic today <laughs> I look terrible feel terrible no energy just like really ah oh, my eyes are just like oh so I thought oh well good day to start <laughs> can't get much worse than this um yeah terrible 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 blood sugars today I mean all I've eaten so far I've just had some green salad with nothing on it just some chopped salad leaves you know just because I was starving but oh and I've had water with lemon juice in and some spirulina in like you know that's what I'm that's all I've had today and I feel crap but I don't want to eat until the blood sugars come down like you know so yeah so I've had lots of time to research no eating the kids are out today until three so it's kind of actually they'll be here in a minute so um yeah bit of a yeah a bit more of a relaxed day and um yeah just watching the blood sugars st stay there basically the whole morning they didn't even come down like it took about i don't know four or five hours until they started moving and then really really slowly so this is the new thing i want to give a go at i want to give a go at the whole high carb low fat they say you got to do the low fat because it's the fat that causes problems with your blood sugars if you're got the carbs and it's just clean carbs from the fruits it goes straight into your blood and you can use it as energy so okay i guess you you know you've got to combine it with exercise i guess because that's kind of part of bringing it down but i'm not going to go in on this as with the healing side like i'm just gonna drop the healing for a bit because it's driving me quite mad this constant search for a cure and everything's just all about healing diabetes and um, maybe you know maybe I should just try living with it <laughs> ah, I never thought I'd say this but you know maybe I should just try living with it and trying to find the best way I can live with it where the levels are okay and I'm not getting any damage and yeah see what happens maybe it's just like it's a big mental thing for me because I'm not used to this. I I don't accept diabetes in my life and I don't really want to, but I think that I've got to. I've got to because it's just not working. I'm just fighting my body myself the whole time because I'm just fighting this diabetes and I'm not accepting it and oh, yeah. So new phase, new try. Let's see. Just be a bit easy on myself. It's you know basically i want the energy first i want the energy i want to be able to run further you know i've noticed that i've kind of got really stagnant with my runs i've got like you know my distances aren't really improving very well my time's not improving you know i've got this big dream of running a marathon at the moment i'm lucky if i run five like you know oh it's terrible so let's get some energy in there let's get the girl carved up loads of bananas loads of pineapples we've got pineapples in season at the moment here in germany we've got watermelons well obviously the pineapples aren't in germany growing in germany but they're being imported but you know we've got pine on on the shelves we've got pineapples watermelons bananas they're always there of course um what else is really abundant at the moment apricots peaches um yeah so we shall see what happens i'll try and be regular with the with the videos vlogs i don't know what they're called um 
you know, just to kind of like show how it's going and stuff and report a bit on the blood sugar levels because like, you know, okay, then watch this space. <laughs>